Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about a homecoming. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2 and 3, but we're going to talk mostly about verse 3. Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us of his ways and we may walk in his path. Now, Every nation around the world celebrates special days with their family and friends. And in a lot of those nations, family and friends do everything in their power to get to that special occasion, whether that be Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter or whatever that special occasion is. They fly, they drive, they take the train, they take the bus, whatever they need to do they're going to get there. And most of the people who travel to get to these places are planning to be there for a while. So they are welcomed with open arms into the homes of those places that are hosting them. They've got their luggage with them. They're set up in the guest room or maybe in a nearby hotel. But the main thing is that they're with the people that they love and special food that only comes out once a year comes out on the plates and there's old jokes that are told around the family table. Gifts are opened and it's all about just being with each other. All of that expense just for one day. But most people will say that all the expense and all the time are well worth it, even if everything doesn't go perfectly. God invites us to journey to his holy mountain. He calls his children home. His door is open, the lights are always on, and his guest rooms are prepared and waiting for us. The table is set and the fire is in the hearth, and he has positioned chairs in his living room and fluffed up all the cushions, all in anticipation of wooing us into the warmth of his fellowship. The best part is though, we never have to leave. It's not just a long weekend. We can be in God's house forever. It would be foolish of a guest to travel considerable distances only to hover at the front door and not enter in at the invitation of their host. Now, can you imagine somebody going down to visit folks for Thanksgiving? They spend hundreds of dollars to get there and they just knock on the door and say, hey, just a quick hi and bye, just thought I'd drop in and they're off on their way again. And yet many times the children of God refuse to enter in and to stay in that intimate home that the Lord has created. They rarely linger long enough in his presence to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart chat. And that's a real shame because he's done so much to prepare his place for us to be able to share it with him. Who could deny such an invitation though? But people still do. Hebrews 10 verse 19 to 22, and I'm going to be reading from the message translation. So friends, we can now without hesitation, walk right up to God into the holy place because Jesus has cleared the path through the blood of his sacrifice acting as our priest before God. The curtain into God's presence is Christ's sacrifice, his body. So let's do it. Let's go home. Let's go home for a homecoming, full of belief that we will be accepted, confident that we're presentable inside and out. You don't always have to wear your best attire when you're hanging around with the folks.